Wake Forest in Maryland. Michael Campanero can only watch on the sidelines. Of course, he has the broken hand. Four other Wake Forest starters out of this game. They were suspended one game for violating team rules. But on the opening possession, it sure didn't look like Wake Forest needed them. Tanner Price to Terrence Davis. 73-yard touchdown. Demon Deacons go up 7-0. A nice day for Davis. Seven catches, 130 yards. Second quarter, that Maryland defense steps up. One of the top 10 defenses in the country. On third and fourth down at the goal line, they stop the Demon Deacons. It stays 7-6 in the game. And two drives later, the Terps take the lead. Perry Hills to Kevin Dorsey. 33-yard touchdown. 13-7 at the half. Hills 14 of 25, 191 yards passing in the game. Another solid and unspectacular performance by the true freshman. Second half after Stephon Diggs fumble. Price to Tommy Bohan and seven yard score. Wake Forest gets the lead back 14-13. Now in the fourth. Maryland on a second and 18. Hills gets it off to Stephon Diggs and he makes it happen. 63 yards all the way down to the three yard line. Chase down there, digs another great game for the freshman receiver, five catches for 105 yards. And two plays later, Justice Pickett dives in. Maryland leads 19-14, that Terps rushing game struggle, only 53 yards in the game. Last chance for Wake Forest, Tanner Price sacked by Demetrius Hartsfield. He had a great game. That does it, Maryland wins 19-14. How about the Terps? They're 1-0 in the ACC, 3-2 overall. Next week, they take on Virginia. Wake Forest gets a bye. Boy, do they need it after the loss to the Terps. This game, not pretty. Total, less than 500 yards of offense combined between these two schools. Remember, fans, the best hour of ACC football, 11 a.m. every Saturday. ACC kickoff live. Riley Skinner, Dorsey Levins, Kelly Nash, and me, Jeff Schell. It's only on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.